The dust has settled. The smoke is clear. And we got two teams left standing. The Warriors. Back-to-back -back champions. Bad for the league. They ruined the game. Call them what you want. They're champions. On the other side. Jurassic Park Zone. Toronto Raptors. Led by a silent assassin. Can they take them out? Game one's tonight. Who am I taking? Stay tuned. Welcome back, welcome back. This could be the final edition for playoff mode. I doubt it because I expect a great series. We digging right into it. Um, before we get into it, I guess I'll recap the Western Conference, Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, Portland got swept. I didn't see that. I thought they would put up a little bit more fight, get a game or two, especially with no Durant. Um, I don't know. Dame and CJ kind of got a little exposed. It seemed like they were really easy to defend. Well, let me rephrase that. Not easy to defend, but they were easy to take out of the series pretty much. Converge on those two guys, and I warned y'all. Aminu, Harkless, all these guys that made shots against OKC and hit a couple big ones against Denver, they were nowhere to be found in the series. So, the deeper you go, the more the pressure goes up, those role players become more important. But I feel like Portland's two stars really didn't play that well. And when that happens, you get swept. Not much else to say. Um, Curry and Clay played amazing. Hats off to Draymond Green. Really? Um, I criticize him when it's due. No criticism here. He played well the entire series. Actually, he's played well throughout the postseason. So um, the Warriors are moving on. On the other side, the Bucks and the Raptors. I figured it would come down to these two teams. I picked the Bucks in six. <laughs> My prediction looked pretty good after the first two games. Toronto made the adjustment to wall off Giannis. Same thing the Celtics did. Only difference is. The Bucks um, shooters made shots consistently, Bruh. and it didn't work. When they consistently make shots, you can't continue to wall off Giannis. You have to try to stay home with the shooters. The shooters never made them consistently enough for Toronto to stay home. Therefore, Giannis could not be great. Um, I hear people saying he got exposed. I don't see it that way. I think. He's limited in what he can do. We know he's not a great jump shooter. He's super athletic, um, very talented. Um, he plays hard, so he they lost to a better team. I'll say that. Toronto was more equipped. They were able to defend them better. Um, they had guys step up, whether it was Lowry, Van, Van Fleet, um, Siakam, they just had a bunch of guys on the power. Your role players, are, when you advance, the role players are going to help. The, the stars will play. Giannis was not great, Do I but have everybody's attention like I said, now? he collapsed on him. He made the right plays, kicking it out. Guys didn't make enough shots. He not absolving him from the blame what? completely because I thought he could have played better. But... Moving forward, we'll see what he does to get better as a player. Uh, we'll see what they do as a team to get better. But the Bucks, this season's over. Congratulations to the Raptors. Um, it's going to be interesting because without Durant, now it depends how long he's out. I don't know if he's going to be out the whole series. We will see. But with Durant missing the first game, or maybe the first two, I don't know how long, if he's going to play in either the yeah, first two games in Toronto, but it's tough because Kawhi, now you can put him on Clay or Draymond, put Siakam, I'd probably put Siakam on Draymond, 
Put um, Kawhi on Clay. Lowry will have the responsibility of chasing Curry around. So I think they have the pieces because there is no Durant. If Durant's there, you got to put Kawhi on Durant. That spreads the defenders out. Now who guards Clay? It's a little bit different. So I think Toronto has the advantage early. They have to take advantage of it. Obviously, I think they have to win tonight. Set the tone. Let the Warriors know they are here to win and not just happy to be here for the first time. That's the key. So we will see. Jurassic Park will be loud tonight, as it always is. Um, it's going to be interesting. I don't think Drake will bother the Warriors at all. They've been here, seen it all. So um, my prediction, I'm going to say Toronto in seven. I'm expecting a very good series. I know a lot of people are telling you Warriors in five. I do not see that. I didn't see it if it was Milwaukee. Um, I, I did not. I didn't see that. Even with Durant, I didn't see that because I feel like these two Eastern Conference teams, uh, they're top three teams in the league. They're not Portland. You're not going to beat them like that. They're not so one-dimensional. But with that being said, we're going to have to see what happens tonight. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to tune in. I'm sure you guys will as well. Uh, we'll see what happens. But that's my prediction. I'm taking the Raptors in seven. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you on the next video.